Hello and welcome. Welcome my Scorpio water friends to March 2016. Our clairvoyant alchemy reading. Yes, we've had, um, I opened up with this March with the Pisces vibe. And we have that super new moon in Pisces on March 8th. And also on the 23rd is the beginning of spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. And um, it is also a full moon in Libra and also a, a, another uh, eclipse, a lunar eclipse. We have a solar eclipse in the beginning at the super new moon in Pisces. So had to bring it out. But um, yes, it's all about the love factor, the two of hearts came out for Pisces and the two of hearts, uh, the two of water, the two of cups came out for um, the Cancer as well. So let's see what happens now with our Scorpio friends to, to close out the water signs for this March 13th. It's definitely about our emotions, but we can also bring in the vision of what's to come and um, I'm working with the mermaids here the magical mermaids and dolphins for each one of you to close this this Pisces uh, and oh, happy birthday Aries to feel we got going on here but empowerment came through and that's that's important because it really is about loving yourself first you're more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful it's safe for you to love yourself, okay? Take care of you first. Imagine what you can accomplish when, you know, you, you're you in charge of what, what you have going on, okay? In bo body, mind, and soul, heart, everything. But yes, so we definitely have uh, the love factor. The partnerships are here. Romance, family, the cancer, also two of cups. It's it's just nice to see it. Okay, first card. So let's um, get comfortable, and it's it's uh, helps me to take a deep breath. So let me do that right now. Let's take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Okay, I think that one wanted to come through, so we have an extra card today for our number six harmonizing spread for March 2016 for our water fixed signs of Scorpio. And Scorpio, your season is autumn. So we'll be coming towards you soon enough. Okay. All right. Well, we have some cards on the table now. And we'll pick a mermaid at the very end here. Pick her at the end. Okay. Okay, and good luck to y'all, Scorpio. And thank you for my new viewers and subscribers. It's much appreciated. Thank you. And how nice to open it up with our major arcana uh, 19, number 19, the sun card. Yay. That's great. That's great. The sun card, I think, came out for the monthly reading for March also. So that's that's wonderful. I know it just came out, but I've done back-to-back -back readings, but I think it did. <laughs> God help me. Wonderful. Well, you know, the sun rules itself, nothing else. No other planet or star rules the sun, but our its own energy source. And, and we were saying in the reading that it came out how you know, and this is all tangible. This isn't just like an imaginative fantasy card. We can go outside and have that warmth on us, that heat, that radiance, that illumination. 
to give us a sense of spirit, a sense of self, to love ourselves first. And I think it's saying that with it coming out from the gate like that. Okay? And we can see we have the balance scales there with the Libra. Because we have that full moon in Libra coming. And Sagittarius there. The alchemist. And it looks like Aquarius also. So the top things there are Aquarius. Libra balance scales and the Sagittarius. The centaur. All good. It's, it's how we work the metaphysics. That's what they're trying to say. Work the metaphysics. You know, pay it a little attention. Look up when you can. Oh, see, we've got this. This is one of the biggest crows I've seen. Wow. I've been trying to take its photograph, but he's pretty big. I mean, I had a lot of crows in the condo, but this one is pretty big. Wow. I hope he flies down to this level right here. I mean, he's twice the size of that jaybird. I mean, he's three times the size. If you could just see him. This is now the third time I've seen him. I'm sorry, he caught my eye right away. That's how big he is. That's how why I caught it. he caught my eye. Yeah, he's pretty big. He's bigger than it. Oh, there. Did you see him? He flew down there. Well, I'm not going to stop for him. But anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I got a cold or something. I had the, the Seven of Cups is here. So definitely, you know, in our water element that, that we are about Scorpio and Cancer and Pisces, um, it's about the feminine receptive. And that's why we, you know, I'm sure, because most of my Pisces friends, anytime I mention about the moon, do you feel the moon? And that, they all say yes to that. I've never had a Pisces person, males included, say no to that, you know. But there's other people you can ask, do you, you know, are you sensitive via the moon? They go no, you know. But because we are, we're that feminine receptive and, uh, you know, we, we just got to keep flowing, all right? And as as the rank of the trump cards, and the court cards, rather, excuse me, the court cards, we're the queen's position, okay? So it's water signs, uh, male or female, you know, it doesn't really matter, people, it's, we, we don't read gender here, but it's the rank of a queen, okay? And so, uh, and the kings are the swords. The air element is that who rules the kings, rule that. But so we have a lot of imagination going on, but that's all right, okay? Because imagination is good for us, for us water signs, our intuition, all that is very important for us to really work with. It, with this 2016, it, it's no doubt about it. It's very important. Look at that! How beautiful the Queen of Pentacles has come through. How nice! Just saying how, you know, as water signs, we're the queens. We rank in the queens. And this is the Queen of Earth here, Queen of Coin, Queen of Pentacles, the Earth sign, yes. Very nice, beautiful. Uh, just, you know, again, another feminine receptive here, all about fertility and growth. Fertility, growth, you know, pregnancy, just fruition giving birth to something and she there she is outdoors that's where she has to be the queen of earth well let's stand her proudly by this rose quartz there a gift from mother earth there okay and we have the two of pentacles interesting so interesting so it's it's um the Pisces and the Cancer, now you're the Scorpio, the third water sign. I have to add that for all of your readings, uh, the pentacles, the this resources, the resources are been happening for all of you. You know, like whatever you're thinking about, even if it is to mean, bring you money, you know, like a self-business kind of thing, don't deny yourself of it, okay? Don't deny something that is coming intuitively to you 
and and if you know it's meant to be kind of thing and of course if you're praying or working with the divine then can consider it an affirmative plan okay but here we have the two of coins here you know two of diamonds in the playing deck of cards and that could mean business deals too you know financial arrangements but there's a partnership there's a balance and here for this March we have that full moon in the Libra there okay uh, lunar eclipse so if there are any partnerships you're thinking about and the two of cups have come through twice now for the Pisces and for Cancer let's see what pulls up these next two cards here but like the two the balance the partnership card romance business because uh, the coins speak more of business obviously uh, money uh, is all positive okay so if you really are considering you know putting putting your heart and soul into something that you believe is meant to be it's you have the intuitive knowledge you know it it's in your gut and, you know because remind reminder that intuition is not a tool like these cards are a tool right no 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 the, your intuition is your soul talking to you okay so we want to tap that soul energy you know that 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 energy center like the chakras bringing out that video down here down to come soon about the nine chakras they want to talk about look at that king of swords just talking about the king who rules um the king's court rank is the swords and here he is the king of swords himself well he's a real sharp thinker he's clever but yet he's cunning and he's you don't want to say ruthless but if he is your enemy <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with him too much not at all I mean he he's man of mastery all kings are, ma you know, full of mastery, and and he has it all in in all areas, you know, mind, heart, soul, you know, he has success in everything because he thinks about it first. He doesn't do things recklessly without really pondering on it. But yet, yet, you know, as as leaders go, they are there to make a decision very quickly you know you, you just don't that's why they're in command because when it comes down to it their decision that they make even if they've slept on it or it has to be made in a second they're winners with it they, they're just born to do it wow the seven of wands came through again so we had that for the um, cancer friends here but that means stand your ground Okay, stand your ground, stand your ground. See, see this king? He has the sword, and he could easily take a couple of eyeballs out with it, I'm sure, or, or a head or two. You know how they did it back in the day. But what we're trying to say is that, you know, he thinks things out, and then he does rule, you know, with all his resources, and he stands on his ground. Okay, and that's what we were just saying. Because usually, whether it's a 24-hour thought process or a 24-second thought process, they stand by their ground. They stand on their ground. They stand firm on their, uh, you know, opinion of the matter. They take care of it. Their say is final, final say so, and that's what we have to have now, so that you know we know that we're on the right path. Because literally, we can stand firm and say, this is how it's going to be, you know. But I, I'm not going to get, I'm, I'm a courageous fellow, but I'll keep my sword in my sheath until you prove me that I, you know, can't trust. But so far, this has been a wonderful reading for my Scorpio friends, you know. We'll, we'll pick up all the cards. Look at this, Wow. Nine of Cups, how grand. And the Nine of Cups kind of showed up in the Cancer reading, too. So now the Nine of Cups has come out twice for our water signs. That's grand.
that's so beautiful and this is just you know nines are usually about those endings those completions but your full bounty you know in that pirate world you know you found the booty and you're very happy you know it's like you you don't have to go on any more ship you know hunting for treasure anymore you you have it all but this is wonderful definitely and this is about having that love that family you know and it, it also could be about divorce too okay because endings can sometimes be but but it, it's a positive vibe positive vibe because we talked about that uh for the cancer too when the nine of cups showed up so obviously it showed up again for the scorpio friends so in the water signs we we should be aware that if something is ending just just accept it okay accept it you know with head lowered and and you know forgiveness and move forward move on okay all right because that's a great card really it offers a lot of potential a lot of potential that's you know and empowerment came through so I think it's wonderful that empowerment came through for cancer with the two of cups and now the nine of cups so it just shows that yes you know love family love the love that you want to have for a project the love the vision for your you know purpose in life all that is so positive so my my Scorpio friends really let's see what this card reads right now but uh, you've had a, a wonderful uh, you know kind of tap yourself on the shoulder you know tap yourself on the back give yourself a hug because looks like it's moving and here you have contemplation time spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire that's got to read about that because really that's what it's all about we've been saying uh, solitude is important and for us water signs we're we're pretty much the visionary It's in the respect of our intuition and our psychic abilities we have the moon that we work with a lot and you understand where I'm coming from so we really have to go into that meditative time and uh, the hermit card came out for the water sign also of cancer so that's all about introspection going within okay pay attention to your intuition I think I say that every time I'm making a video now pay attention to your intuition but let's see what this contemplation card has to say because uh, really truly they they give you the messages when you're alone you know whether you call it dream time or you know meditative time or you're in your car with no music on you just trying to take it easy while you're on a long trip or something they that's when they come to you really this card indicates that you need some alone time make a firm appointment to be by yourself in a quiet place ideally outside in nature or near some plants okay, there you go and without delay without delay okay this is important so this month of March make sure out getting outside grounding is important and we've been talking about that for each read too okay so without delay make sure that you'll be uninterrupted for at least one hour there you go that's important one hour at least if not take a day a week take a pad of paper and a pen with you okay you got a little homework coming here then spend some time simply breathing, relaxing, and centering yourself. After you're completely relaxed, write down this question to your subconscious mind on your pad of paper. What do I want to do next? That's the question. So you write this question down. What do I want to do next? And then write whatever comes to you in response without worrying whether it's correct or not. Then ask your subconscious, what is my heart's true desire right now? So then you write the next question. What is my heart's true desire right now? Write down the answer. 
Spend time noting your true priorities so that you'll know how to structure your free time to match what's important to you. Okay? So now it's time to go within. And uh, 2016, it truly feels, you know, that many people are getting ready. You know, like they, they realize that, that, that the divine is kind of asking a few things from us to declutter, okay, and to intentionally put those thoughts out there for us to manifest what our life path is truly about. Because then that will bring the energies, the positive ones, the cohesive ones uh, that bring healing as well, okay, healing work. And uh, look at this, back-to-back -back nine of cups, how wonderful. We, we, they're giving us the resources. We all have potentiality, okay, to be the queen of coins and, and have, have vision, just have vision, okay, have that vision. Something is within you. And again, if you're the type of person that watches these kind of videos, well then, you know, at least you're open-minded or, or thinking more out of the box and, and want to work with your the angelic realm, you know, the 6D realm, call it whatever you want, people, the cosmic forces that be supernatural, metaphysics, it's all good. It's all positive. And it keeps us in the balance. It really does. Uh, you know, even when you kind of go with the mood swings, oh, so-and-so pisses me off, or so, you know, you just learn to say, you know what, let the universe handle it, and, and then you you go back into an, an, that playful thing, okay, playful predators, that's what we're going to be, <laughs> okay, all right, so to deny, deny the evil, all right, there's a new chant I want to bring out, but not for this reading, but we, we'll talk about it, but yeah. How to send it back to the dark ones. Okay, my darlings. So Scorpio, a nice read. Again, the two of pentacles, the two of cups, uh, you know, in the respect that everything is coming forward here. You know, so don't don't put your mind in the clouds too much. Stand strong. Okay, stand strong. Have that mental clarity because it's right here. See, right there for you. It's coming. It's coming. And then the sun star, we really have to get outside. That's that's really what it's all about. Get outside. You know, take a little beach chair somewhere. If you can get out for a little bit, half an hour. Look at this abundance. It, it's just so lovely to see it. You know, just it's all about balancing now. And the Libra full moon is going to energize us in that location. Okay. Just, just keep it in the balance. And again, any financial arrangements, just, just you know, make sure you read all the details, and and go and go within, go within, because that's when you hear the messages, that's when the directions you can follow, uh, and you'll feel it. You'll, you'll feel it very much. Lovely. Okay, my darlings. Well. Have a wonderful March 2016, and I hope that all your wishes come true. And put your emotions out there, because this March is very powerful to work, you know, with, with the moon, with Luna. Fabulous. Love yourselves first. You deserve all the love.